20% of their class, and they have to fill out an application, a written application, that consists of many questions to talk about their experience at Sydney Fen, as well as who influenced them, what events uh, inspired them, and what they plan to do going on into the future. Once they pass the uh, portion of the written scholarship application, they then need to come in and do a in-person uh, interview. Now, given the situation that we had in this past year, all of our interviews were done via Google Meets. So we got to uh, interview each of the people who uh, made the final 20 per, or top 20%. That included 10 individuals who received scholarships from Sydney Penn this year. And those scholarships ranged anywhere from $1,000 down to $250. Those uh, individuals uh, were all notified and they're going to be using that money from Sydney Fenn to further their education at various universities and colleges after uh, they, well, they have graduated already. So we have our top four who we've asked to come back and give words of wisdom to our outgoing fifth graders. And I want you to sit and listen to things that they share with you, because in just a few short years, you will be in their shoes. And some of you will be coming back here to Sydney Fenn to hopefully sit down with me and some PTO members to talk about what experiences were memorable to you that you hope future students get and do this exact same thing. Our four uh, scholarship recipients this year that will be speaking to you are Sophie Albert, Carlos Levine, Matt Monet, and Chloe Tesney. Our first one that you'll hear from is Matt Monet. Without further ado, hello graduating fifth graders. I think a big congratulations is in order for everyone here. You all made it and did awesome. Man, time sure flies when you're having fun. Before you know it, it can be you guys giving the speech. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of them, the staff members, PTO members, and everyone else for the opportunity to not only present a speech, but for accepting me into the Fenn family. To be in the Fenn family is something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life, and I hope everyone else here carries it with them too. As fifth graders this year, you were all the top dogs of the school, and without even knowing it, you have all held a responsibility. Not only did you lead your fellow classmates, but you also set an example for the younger grades. They all look up to you. This means they all look to you for guidance and want to follow you. The people below you will be filling their shoes next year, and let me tell you, they have some big shoes to fill. Imagine Fenn as the coolest cookie cutter you have in your other cookie. Fenn has given you a shape and the size of your own creation that you each find cool. You have the ability to choose your type of dough, chocolate, almond, vanilla, etc., and be your own person. With Fenn as a guide for all of you, there are no limits to your potential. It's not rocket science. You guys all represent what it means to be a Fenn student, and that is to be kind, considerate, courageous, respectful, and yourself. As future middle schoolers, the future is bright for all of you. You will continue to grow up and see these same faces that are around you in the room today. I encourage you all to say hi to each other and share a laugh, because as you grow up and continue to achieve many great things in the Dino, there will be the people around you that will be there to support you on your journey, as they too take a path of their own. Furthermore, before I go, I have a shocking fact that may not surprise many of you. After endless research throughout my years in Atlanta High School, diving deep into the books of the library, surfing campus websites, and as a Fenn alumni myself, I found that 100% of Fenn students and staff are awesome. I have no doubt in my mind that you will all go on to do great things. I look forward to hearing about all of your accomplishments and wish you all the best in your future endeavors and whatever else the future holds. Thank you. Okay, up next we'll hear from Chloe Tesney. Hi guys, my name is Chloe Tesney and I'm so excited to get to talk to you guys because I remember when I was sitting where you are in fifth grade listening to these same speeches. It really helped me and I hope that I can help you guys before you start the next three years of your life in middle school. It's such an important time in your life and there's a lot to think about. First of all, take a deep breath. You guys are doing great and you really deserve all the credit. You should be so excited and proud. It's important to just keep having fun and continue to being the great students that I know all of you are. The most important piece of advice that I can offer you is to be involved and try as many new things as possible. When you transition into middle school, being involved is really going to help you. And Claudia has so much to offer, whether it's sports, music, art, or one of the great clubs. There are so many opportunities waiting for you. 
Being involved is important because it's going to help you learn about yourself and what you're interested in. It's also going to teach you so many life lessons. And you're going to meet so many new people that you can end up being really close with. Don't forget, you're merging with other schools, and by joining these activities, it will help you interact with new friends. I met so many of my friends during middle school, during doing new activities. It's important to be involved sooner rather than later because you will have more time before high school starts. It's good to know what you're interested in before high school because this is the time when you get all the time to try new things. Remember that you should try new things. Even if you don't think you'll be the greatest volleyball player or the greatest artist, you should definitely try it because you'll never know unless you try. When I was in middle school, I was involved in volleyball, basketball, track, choir, orchestra, art, and I was in the play all three years. If you think you're athletic and not into music, trust me, you'll surprise yourself, and vice versa. By being in all of these clubs and activities, I learned what I love to do, and I learned important characteristics about myself. All of these things taught me how to be a team player and part of a group. I also learned how to be a leader and how to help others. I even came out of my comfort zone and became more outgoing, and I met so many amazing people that I am still friends with today. You're going to thank yourself one day by joining all of these clubs and activities because you'll grow as a person and create so many memories along the way. This is your time to figure out what you want to do and who you want to be. Give something new a try, and I promise you'll have fun along the way. Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Carlos Levine, and some of you may know me from the two years when I was a auto leader at Ben, and some of you might not. But for those who don't, I just graduated Medina High School yesterday, and seven years ago, I was in your shoes graduating Sydney Ben Elementary. Today, I'm here to talk to all of you and offer some parting advice. First off, I'd like to tell each and every one of you of how proud I am of your successes this far. Graduating fifth grade is a big milestone, and it's one of many that you will reach throughout your life. You've successfully finished an early important chapter of your life, and you all have great things ahead of you. The first thing I want to talk to you about is some skills that I've personally developed or possessed that have helped me succeed through Medina City Schools. One of the most important things I discovered was resilience, or the ability to get knocked down and make mistakes but come out stronger. The path to success is sometimes rocky, and there's sometimes obstacles, but being resilient will help you navigate them. Something else that you can't put a price tag on is curiosity, and being excited to learn wherever you go. But curiosity doesn't just mean being interested in school. Curiosity can mean wanting to get better at a sport or activity, learning to play a new instrument, or learning a new hobby. Regardless of where your curiosity takes you, it will only help you grow as a person and succeed in your academic careers. Finally, a positive attitude will make even the most difficult experiences manageable and make you a leader to the people around you. Here's some advice I have to pass on to you. First, don't be afraid to fail. Everyone does at some point, myself included. Take risks, try new things, and step outside of your comfort zone. Try out for the sports team that you want to play on. Go to the debate club meeting that interested you. If something grabs your attention, you should pursue it. If you make mistakes, look at them as lessons, because learning from mistakes is how you become the best version of yourself. Life moves faster than you expect, so do two things. First, make the most of it, and second, have fun. Enjoy your childhood, because you really are only a kid once. And finally, learn from the people around you. One of the greatest gifts of going through a school system like Medina's is the people. When you move on to middle school, you'll have five to eight teachers every single day. You'll interact with over 20 kids in each class. That's over 100 different people on a daily basis, all with different stories, interests, and mindsets. The next year, your teachers and classmates will change. When you go to high school, you'll be exposed to even more people. If you choose to attend college, your horizons will be broadened even further. School is so much more than learning how to do long division, and the best advice 